This is the world's most confusing game. Let me explain. Three years ago, I stumbled upon this video by Copre about something called a non-Euclidean worlds engine. It showed these super weird illusions that broke the rules of reality and this fascinated me. Three years later, with some added games I've experienced, I'm going to create one of these non-Euclidean games to explore what they are, how they're made, practical uses, and to see my friend's reaction to playing one, since I'm afraid these games aren't getting as much attention as they deserve. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so, what the heck is a non-Euclidean game? Imagine we have a flat piece of paper and we draw two points on that paper. The shortest line between those two points is a straight line, but what if we crumple it up? The shortest path now is not so straight. Geometry doesn't work the same way, just like how this tunnel is long on the outside and short on the inside. Our concept of reality is broken and abused in beautiful, mind-bending ways, serving as the base of a puzzle game like Antichamber or an adventure game like Superliminal, but not many people know about them. So my plan for this project is to create all these non-Euclidean illusions that you saw at the beginning of the video and combine them all into one to make one big non-Euclidean game. So let's get started with our first illusion, the long short tunnel. I quickly made a test scene, yoinked some code, and you can now control this beam. Here's how the illusion will work. I'll make two tunnels, one long and one short. When the player walks inside the long tunnel, we seamlessly teleport the player to the short tunnel and teleport the player back to the long tunnel when he exits to complete the illusion. Here's the problem, I don't know how to make these portals, but I do know somebody who does. Let's get into the video. Thank you, Brackies. You're the real homie. And after fixing up some bugs, I started creating the tunnels for the illusion, which is where things started to head south. All right, so here is the current progress on the project. Uh, there's a bit of a stutter there. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Why are you doing that? Because of my portals, my cameras were positioned in a way that would view the other side of the tunnel in the wrong spot, which would break the illusion. This tunnel should look long, not just a blue sky. I spent the following day trying to fix this weird camera bug, but to no avail. Then came the next day, and the next, and the next, and the next, and the next. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. Look at how long this freaking line of code is. Eight days of work. Zero progress. At some point, this project stopped being a fun little experiment and started to be not fun. Every day after coming home from school, I would try my best to make this illusion seamless, but I just couldn't take the frustration. It's really difficult for me to just be able to put in that work consistently when I just don't feel like doing it. Game development stopped being fun, and adding to the fire, my last video went viral. This was the perfect time to give non-Euclidean games the recognition it deserves, which was the whole point of me making this game. I just needed to ride the momentum, and I didn't. I failed the one goal I created for myself, and I don't think I'm ever gonna forgive myself for it. But the nice thing about hitting rock bottom is that there's only one way left to go. Up. After a week straight of fixing this bug, I started the following day with embracing this imperfection and begun work on the next illusion. 70 years ago, Dutch artist MC Escher created this painting, a world in which gravity is different based on your perspective. And my goal is to turn this painting into a playable game. I created a box, flipped those normals, and used Pro Builder to model out some walkable beams. I didn't really have a plan here, just experimented with some walkways and hoped that they'd create a path when I rotated everything. I used colored boxes as the placeholders for the portal and boom, more progress in one day than I've made for the past week. After adding in portals to ensure the illusion actually works, I moved on to the twisty tunnel. I wanted to recreate this illusion I saw from a small indie game called Glitch Phobia. I hopped into Blender, modeled out a hallway, made it a twisty boy, and made it rotate based on the player's position. <laughs> That is so trippy. After that, I moved on to the overlapping rooms, where I travel through multiple areas while staying in the same spot, which brings up a cool point. These games are actually useful. If you port this illusion to VR, for example, you can create a whole adventure game without leaving the boundaries of your room. Like, imagine the possibilities with this. In addition, non-Euclidean games aren't just for VR. You can create mind-bending puzzles and walk through the same hallway a few times just to get... This stuff deserves more praise, which is why we're making this game in the first place. 
With all the illusions now complete, I started connecting everything into one cohesive game. I then grabbed some textures from Ambient CG, played around with some post-processing, and made our illusions a little more interesting by yoinking a nature pack. And after adding some final touches like sound effects, I built the game and DM'd my friends to play it. While waiting for my friend's response, I just want to look back. Reflecting on this project now, I feel a sense of a bitter sting. I had a once in a lifetime opportunity to promote a unique video game genre to potentially millions of people, but a few insecurities made me miss my shot. This should have been a fun project where I could revisit a mechanic I explored a few years ago. Instead, it was a grueling tale of procrastination and hatred. But although I missed my chance to educate millions on a quirky game style I love, at least I made a few of my friends happy. And although I may never forgive myself for missing my shot, I hope I made you happy. And at the end of the day, that's so much more than enough. And with that said, it's game time. I made a little something for you guys to play. Oh, these graphics are good. I feel like my computer's not gonna like this. Bro, what? Mushroom, can I eat this? <laughs> I guess that's for the best. This reminds me of like Minecraft strippy games. Uh, yep, yeah, don't, don't, look, don't look back there. Oh. <laughs> It's a feature, not a bug. What would you rate the game out of 10? 8.765. What? Wait, <laughs> wait, what? I think I give it a 7 out of 10. No. <laughs> this feels like a lucid dream. Oh, is that the end? I had fun.